Hey! Ha. Feeling a little better. I'm gonna go into Balsa because uh, on top of the headache I had before I... Uh, good day to you, wow, Chris. On top of the headache I had before... I, I have two hard disks here. These are my game hard disks. They're SSD drives and they plug in the computer. For some reason, probably because I'm stupid, both have the same drive names. They both drive D. Yesterday, I was using... Uh, when I turned, before I turned my computer off, I had a drive, uh, this particular drive D, even though it says E, it's drive D, they both drive D, plugged in. To, today, before I turned on the computer, I'm like, I'm gonna play Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I unplug this one, plug into that one before I turn on the computer. I've done this before, turned it on, now the computer thinks that this drive is this drive, so I don't have access anymore to my Microsoft Flight Simulator or in a bunch of other games here. I know they're there because I've done this before. I forgot how I fixed it. I think I used this thing called Tree View. I was doing a check disc, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to spend my morning doing that. I saw the Flying Fabios playing Balsa, which is awesome. So uh, I'm going to come play Balsa too. And, um, and Balsa luckily is in the one that works. So I'm going to try to fix the other one and get those files back later. Worst case scenario, we have to reinstall everything. Although the last time I did manage to, I used this utility called Tree View to find and fix the, it's basically, I think the index, the computer thinks one, one uh, drive is the other. And I fixed it last time. I just forgot how I do it. This time when I fix it, if I manage to fix it, I will write it up so that I'll remember in the future and to help anyone who has this problem. And I should probably, Keep the drives of separate letters, even though it's annoying then when I have to plug into Steam, then I have to go into Steam and always point it to the right drive letter. So there you go. Let's go back to the campaign, to career here in Balsa. I, wow, crazy. When I do have Microsoft Flight Simulator working again, I will, uh, I'll make sure that I have your library installed. My first go-to would be disk management in computer management. Hey, Shipa! <laughs> I went to disk management, I was taking a look there and the, it checked out fine. And I went ahead, I did a, I was going to run a check disk from the command prompt, but it was going to take an hour and a half. So I was like, screw this, I'm just going to play Balsa now. And um, and, and I'll, fig I'll, I'll figure that out later. But do you, do you any of you ever, do, you, do any of you have like two different disks and you keep the same drive letter, like for example D? Or do you always have different drive letters on your disks? Because uh, I, I don't think, it doesn't sound like a good idea to keep the same drive letter. So I knew that that was a risk and here it's, it's bit me now. Second time it happens to me. Basically the computer looks at one drive and I think it's the other one. It, it's showing the contents of the other drive because uh, they both have the same drive letter. Yeah, I have to because I, I don't have, I have a mini ITX machine. I don't have any space for internal drives in there so i just use external usb drive i don't mind them they're easy to you know switch around just move them around performance difference is pretty negligible from my tests uh, but um all right yesterday i my little um my little aero flyer go take a look at it the heart wing all right and I'm excited if Flying Fabio is playing this too now, because that means that, you know, there's going to be more people paying attention to this game now. I want people to pay attention to this game, because it's a good game. Good day, Caffington. So yesterday, my little heart wing. Judge Judy Slayer followed me. Uh, all right. The fan of Judge Duty and of the band Slayer, I guess. Thank you for the follow 30 minutes ago before I came live. Well, Chris, if it's the same kind of drive, the PC might not recognize the difference. I think that's what's happening. I think the PC... This is what happened. Yesterday, I had Microsoft... I, have, I was playing Balsa Model Flight Simulator, which is running right now out of this uh, external SSD enclosure here. This is where this, gum is, this game is coming from right now. I turned off the... And this is drive D. But this is also drive D. They both have the same letter. I turned off the computer. I finished playing for the day. The day before I turned on the computer, I was like, I'm going to play Microsoft Flight Simulator first. I unplugged this one, I plugged this one, then I turned on the computer. 
computer thinks this drive is this drive. It's it's giving me the listing. Uh, when I when, when I had this one plugged in, it's it thinks it's still the one of Balsa, and it's it's listing what's on the other one. So I think it's something on the index of the drive. You know, I don't think it's very hard to fix, but Windows, so you never know. The little yellow beast, yes, here it is. We've put little guns on it. Uh, if you go to the internal view, we have um, three batteries. We have a little uh, rocket for emergency altitude gain, and I'm gonna display. I'm gonna show it to you right now. All right, we have a, a capacitor over there, um, and we have smoke generators down here. Okay. Oh, how did I do that? Did you see that? There was like the little... There was a little thing that told me it was smoke. I don't know how to do that anymore. Oh well. Let's fly. <laughs> Internal view has a lawnmower. <laughs> Wait. Where's the lawnmower? Oh, I think that's the... You're talking about the Google... Uh, the, the, the captions. I should speak a little slower, maybe. I think I speak too fast for this Google generator. Uh, fly. Why can't I... Wait. Bro it's broken? Hold up, let's exit. Get it from the back of the car, maybe? Maybe the thing is there. Select craft. Repair. Oh, I had to repair it. Okay. Accept. Back. Your car. Select craft. Uh, accept. There it is. Okay. All right. We managed to unlock some more missions yesterday. And you can add fuel engine to play. Yeah, you can I put a fuel engine. This is an electric motor. You can put a fuel engine. But I have this little electric motor here. You can right click on it. You can go to inspect vehicle. And uh, right now I have the electric motor, three batteries, one under the guy's feet here, two in the back, a capacitor there, which I think is for uh, power fluctuations or something. I'm going to learn about this sort of stuff by playing this video game. All right. But we can put, uh, you can put a, a, you know, four stroke uh, uh, engines on, the, on them as well, I think. I should update my download. I found where the prop knobs are colored. Cool. Yeah, let me know um, what, what I'm gonna have to fix that drive now before I can stream my flight simulator again. But when I do, um, just um, just let me know where uh, where maybe put it in one location on your on your server while crazy that the link never changes so that I always know where to download the latest version. That could be interesting. Ukando, welcome to the stream. All right, let's, uh, I think this guy, there was a race, but let's, let me show you, let's go for a flight, okay? And let me show you the dog fighting of this thing, because you can, you can keep doing those over and over again to get more experience points again. I'm gonna leave her here, right click, uh, uh, refuel, recharge, or 480 paintballs, we have 100% electric charge. Let's start the engine, let's go. Oh. Rotate. We're off. We're off. Let's go do some dog fighting. Yesterday I was spending some time dog fighting. I got better at it. Now, now I'm better at it. it. Takes a while to get used to the controls. You can use flight stick. You can use uh, this type of controller. Uh, you can map the control. Very powerful control mapper. It was a little tricky for me to figure out how to use it, but now that I know how to use it, I see that uh, you know it's. Very powerful, can do a lot of different things with it. <laughs> We're kind of opposite direction, opposite of the downwards pull of gravity. So if you want to go on a on a on a, on a quick uh, dog fight, you you if I found this blimp here, I go through it, and like six or two at a time, but six BF 109s, aka rot wings, come after you in this game. Okay. Here you go. They're gonna come now. Let's get some. Let's get some distance. Bandits approaching position, they're flying in pairs, all right? You press comma or period to target them. The yellow one is a targeted one. When, you, when it's targeted, you hold mouse button and it, and it keeps it, you, you keep watching it, okay? All right, it's two on one, so, you know, uh, at a disadvantage here, but let's go. Oh! 
almost mid-air collision. This obviously has a collision there. Oh, they crashed into each other! <laughs> he crashed into his own wingman. Okay, he's still flying. Oh, I almost crashed into him. I shouldn't laugh too much. <laughs> I saw I saw that. It's so awesome to see Fabio playing this game. I think I got him. I sh control surface shot off by Hypertex here. I got him. It's so cool to see Fabio playing this because the guy who designed this in this game is... I mean, I'm not a big nationalities fan, you know, but... You know, there's nice people in Brazil. Fabio's one of them. And the guy who makes this game is another Brazilian guy called Felipe Falangi, the creator of Kerbal Space Program. He works in this game with his brother. He, he, him and his brother make this game and, you know, like other people that they hire. But uh, he's a super nice guy, too, and he has passion for this stuff. So it's... I'm impressed by the radio range. There, there is a radio range limit, which is the end of the map. I'll show you, okay? All right, I control shift. I shot off his propeller. He's going down, that guy. Look, I shot off his propeller. He, he's, he's down. He's down. Boom. All right. Next one. Oh, he crashed? He crashed too, I guess. All right, here comes the third wave. No, so awesome. I, I want this game to be a, a success because I want I want them to, uh, you know, um, the place where Felipe Falungi worked, where he made Kerbal Kerbal Space uh, Kerbal Space Program. It was an advertising agency, but Kerbal Space Program so were so successful that I think they sold them to another company or something, and then it became more like a corporate thing, you know, and and he and he decided to change and and make. A different game and uh, and I respect that I think that uh, instead of people that instead of keep doing the same thing they change up it's uh, I want to support that and I just but really I just uh, I just love airplanes and I love uh, I, I used to make a uh, balsa gliders with my dad I never had radio controlled ones but I you just made it and you flew it you know and um, and so it's so nice to, to have a video game where, where you can make something and then you can fly it and you have little... Oh! Behind me. My battery is at 69%. Sorry if I'm not looking to chat too much. His paint is too scared. The pilot's like, no better die crashing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like my paint's painted like a bee, you know? Yellow, watch out. Let's get away from... Uh, I do want to get away from the the water. I want to dogfight over the land because this game, if you get if you you if if you lose your plane on the water, it costs you lose it all, and then it costs a lot of money to in a campaign at least to get it back. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's let's dogfight over our base here, okay? And maybe I'll make them crash into this into one of these buildings too. We have a maneuver kill on this guy. Oh! Oh, hard for me to get to the rudders of this control setup with mouse and keyboard. Boom, I got him. Control surface shot off. Uh, what is it? The control surface and the propeller shot off. So that guy's a goner. No more power. Let's go for the next one. And this, people, has multiplayer. And it's free to play right now. Just go to Steam. Go to Balsa Model Flight Simulator. Click on the button to request access. It'll automatically turn to download. And come play, and we could we could even uh, play together here. Uh, I tried setting up a server the other day, but I don't know if it was a bug or if it was already a hacker. But uh, got uh, a bunch of things starting exploding, so I just uh... oh, and that was a good shot. The wings off, boom! Uh, one two bucks. <laughs> what a massacre! You really showed them enemy pigs whose boss here they'll be sometime licking the wounds after that show all right chuck maybe it's chuck norris inspired by chuck norris the cross between chuck norris and uh what's that guy called a uh, randy savage uh, that world wrestling federation uh dope opera thing all right coming in for the landing all right Oh. Oh. All right, power. 
I broke, I broke, I broke, I broke. Okay. Bad landing. I lost two wheels, that's alright. Which, uh, I'll just, I won't retrieve vehicle, I'll change the view to my guy because we can actually go pick it up if we want. Imagine there's people on that beach. <laughs> Sounds like Rockstar quality multiplayer. I, I hope that you can put a password on the server. I, I'm sure you will be able to wild craze. I don't know if you can currently, you can try it right now. But, um... Repair 30 bucks, 15, 15 bucks for each uh, landing gear. But I'm sure they'll be able to, to, it won't be like a rock star. This is much more indie. I mean, I think, you know, the Lipi Fal Har Harvester is his, you know, call sign. The Lipi Falungi and the, and I think it's the archetype of, in, you know, like indie music or like garage bands, you know, this is the type of, um, the type of uh, spirit that this game has, this and Kerbal Space Program. You know, it can become huge later, but I hope uh, I hope it becomes huge. But I hope that uh, that there's a long way before that that we can uh, we can do things. Okay, so that was one thing. We've got a uh, two nine five five XP. We'll probably lo unlock some more things. But let's try the race. There was a race here. Um, let's try that one. There's people on the beach. You could shoot them with paintball. They'll be kind of. Did I miss anything else? Yeah, shout out to the Flying Fabio playing this. Uh, one of my favorite streamers. Also here we have Wild Craze dropping by. We have Shipa, our honorable, excellent um, moderator here, along with Gal Galaxia Cat, and um, and we have. Um, Castleton, Iceberg for all, Bowside, I, I missed you Iceberg, I'm sorry. Because your color was the same as Castleton's there. Shout out to everyone, Ukando here, dropping by. And also uh, Castleton, really nice to see you around. Hope you're all having a good Monday. Good beginning of the week. I am going to go back to IL2 tomorrow, okay? Thankfully, or maybe this afternoon, because thankfully IL2 is on the same drive as as uh, as Balsa, so I still have access to IL2. Microsoft Flight Simulator and all the other games had another drive. I'm gonna have to find a way to uncorrupt that drive or reinstall everything from reinstall everything from scratch, which always a pain in the butt. But maybe that's gonna be what we're gonna have to do. Notice that the plane doesn't recharge on the top left, uh, 52%. So I'm gonna right click and refuel recharge. Okay. You know, if paintballs are five minutes later, you're arrested for dis dis <laughs> disrupting the peace. Yeah. All right, try this race. I'm gonna start. Uh, it's gonna be a tricky one. Right click, uh, start engines. But I'm happy to see that uh, uh, Shippo is uh, playing Mark uh, Altus Strumovic. Oh, engine's not working. I think this was the bug I was having yesterday. Engines don't don't start with this. Uh, not letting me. St um, oh, now oh now now it's going. Maybe it didn't want me to take off. Look, there's a because it wants me to be in this position. All right, set, go. Shit. Okay. Oh, collision. Oh, my tail! He got my tail! Bastard! <laughs> so this collision in this, you know, that's a, that's a problem because that means... Uh... So I can shoot at those guys? There's no rules? Uh, F9. Can't recover the vehicle right now. Heavy damage. What now? Development console. 79 is not a valid index for Alpha's array. I'll just close that. Alright. Can't recover the vehicle right now. I think it's because the race is ongoing. Not sure. We could try to build another vehicle. Sue him, take that guy to the court. So I... I hate... Uh, I mean, hate is a strong word, but I do hate paperwork and... Uh, 
Uh, maybe. Let's go check it out. Okay, here we go. Retrieve vehicle. Whoa! There, 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 is, there, is there an engine flying around? Did you see that? I think the engine's flying around somewhere. Oh look, it's hanging on the top. That's cool. Top engines. Repair, there you go. 516 bucks for that thing. Let's go back outside. Let's try it again. I think there's a timer for the missions. Okay, so that I guess wasn't a bug, I, because the, the thing here that it happens is my plane is starts on the floor, so I thought it, it was a bug, but it is confusing because I put action start engines and I I, I increased the uh, rust and nothing happened, so I thought it was a bug, but uh, I guess not. So let's pick it up, and when you pick it up, it's ready, alright? Ready? Set? I'm gonna shoot, go. Oh, I can't shoot. Okay, no shooting. Oops. Very odd uh, maneuver I did there, but I'll take it. They have to build planes for speed for this. Oh, for... It, it, the cool thing about this game is that the plane you build, you use for these events. So if you're doing something that you need speed, you would do a plane that's fast. If you, you try to do a plane that's fast, if you do one that's distance, uh, maybe you need a different type of plane that can take more fuel. I'm going to be last place on this. Unless I can get in front of these guys somehow. Let me try to dive to pick up speed a little bit. Oh, I'm right by the water. Damn, fourth place. Okay, that was cool though. I didn't, I didn't blow up. Hey, Joey, how's it going? Looks nearly as frustrating as the GTA flying. <laughs> yeah, GTA flying is frustrating. The, this game, if you're not used to, you can the nice things. You can do many different types of controls, but it is. It is a. It is not a. Um, maybe the least frustrating will be to try the flight stick. To try to fly. To try to fly to the flight stick. If you're already used to flying with flight stick, you know, because you can go to. Um, you can go to internal view, so you could basically fly like Microsoft Flight Simulator of the internal view. To go in the internal view, you have to put in. Uh, uh, my gun sight's a little too low there. You have to put in a figurine in the plane. I just might be convinced to try this out now. Come try, dude. Uh, I th those were AI, but look at this, okay? Uh, quit to menu. Let's try it right now. Let's see if we can put a password. Come build a plane, and, and if you don't want to build planes, you just want to... Oh, what the heck is this thing? I'm sorry, I should be like this. Right. God, the whole stream of been... I'm, I'm out of it today. I had a headache this morning. I, I, I lost access to one drive where Microsoft Flight Minute Simulator is installed, so, you know, I'm all over the place today, but... Um, but uh, yeah, if you don't if you if you don't feel like building, you just want to come in and fly to see if you like it. There are a bunch of ready-made airplanes. Okay, so here let's start game, multiplayer. All right, there's some people playing out there. Okay, host new game. I'm gonna call this Hypertext Hero. Max player. Let's put four because uh, I don't want my computer to be slow. And, but it doesn't it doesn't look like I can put a password right now, okay? In the future, I hope we can put passwords so you can't just have anyone show up, all right? Hypertext hero test uh, aerodrome. Go. No mission free roam. You can make your own missions in this. There is a scenario editor, all right? Hey, Taddy Man 2020. Good day to you. How are you? All right, so, so I, I start a server for four people if you want to join in. It's called Hypertext Hero. So here you go. I have my heart wing that I made. There's this first flyer one, which is basically a glider that they use in the tutorial. There's the Clyde the Glide that I started making a weird little glider the other day. But look, there's stock designs. Apparently not all of them are flying very well right now because uh, a, a few of them are, 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 are outdated. But look at this Wind, ri Wind Rider Ultra Glider A1. Okay, for example, let's try this thing. 
but these are some stock designs if you want to just come and try to fly. Let's just throw it instead of... Well, let's try to take off with it. Oh, just threw it down like a... Like an angry... Boiled kid, okay. Let's climb up here. I think you can climb to the top of the, of the lighthouse. Uh, actions uh, drop. No, can I drop it? It's free. Yep, this is the play test. Eventually it won't be free, but it's early access. Uh, totally free. Bowser some auto flights later. Shippa just shot down two MiGs and an IL-2. Awesome. Are you flying for the Germans? Shippa on the on the IL-2. I don't know how to. You see, there's this little icon here. Oh, oops. I don't know how to get up there. Do I have to? How to? Do I have to just walk in this, or is it not working? Maybe it's uh, employees only, but it, ha it has a little sign there. I thought. Uh... Okay, let's just grab them and throw them. Actions, turn on the engine. So I can fly it from the point of view of uh, of the controller. All right. Oh, look at this thing. This thing is light. Wow, this thing goes high. Okay. We can zoom in of mouse button. Went back to the German side, copy that. Yeah, the, the German planes of those cannons, man, they will rip. It's I find them, uh, especially with the BF-109 and with the guns mounted in the nose, it's just easier to get kills, I think. 10 minute download, copy that. Oh, it's a nice little flyer, this thing is so light. And notice that the only two views I get of this one is the view from the controller position here. And the view from from the guy because I don't from, from the airplane because I don't have a, a little character there. There is a little you can see there's a little seat for a character there. We could put him underneath the propeller. It's pretty funny. Let's uh, con let's make her do a, a nice close flyby over here. I've been looking at the game all today. Never had time to probably look at it till now. Cool. Yeah. Come. Uh, welcome. Hang out. And uh, if you want to play free right now. I don't know how long the out this playtest will be, but the release date is supposed to be mid-2021. Uh, Here we are, mid-2021, so maybe, I hope that they release it. Shut up and take my money, uh, Filippi. Put the game for sale. I'll, I'll, I'll give money for this game right now. I already love it, even if it has bugs. Oh, predict smashed, I win. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed that. There's no landing rate predictions yet, but... I would, I would also pay money for anyone who makes a landing rate predictor for this, but I would pay money for, uh, for, a, for a landing rate predictor for this, alright? I'm seeing the frame rate change a bit, maybe someone joined my session. Alright, there's, there's my dude, there's Hypertex Hero, whoa! My intricate. Where, where do you? Oh, I, if you want to share the information, where do you live, uh, Teddy man? Countryside somewhere. Uh, con uh, I'm lucky to live with fast internet here, but I know how that is because for years I I had low internet. In other places. Okay, slow pass. Slow down. Let's try to. Is my flight stick uh, connected? No, it's not. I have to remap that. Hey, Kojo62. Good day. Happy Monday. Yeah, it looks like a glider. It is a glider. I mean, any plane that you fly, you know, ultimately it is a glider because uh, obviously some are designed especially to be gliders, but generally planes land uh, with the engine uh, pretty much at... at uh, it, they glide in. Here, I'm going to turn, on the, turn off the engine. Stand by. Engine's off. Now we're gliding in. Uh, let me turn her on again. You press tab, okay. Audio, let's put environment to be higher. So you can hear that wind, alright? You can hear the wind now? Yeah. 
It is lovely. This is lovely because it's a, it's, it can be calm. It can be exciting when you're dog fighting. It can be calm when you're, I mean, unless you like can go crazy, calm or crazy when you're building. Okay, depending on your ability <laughs> and your mental state. I'm not a huge, uh, I'm not a very good builder, but. But hey, if I manage to, to build a little airplane and make it fly, not this one that I'm flying right now, but, but my Heartwing, you'll be able to too, because I'm the most inept, okay, with building models and stuff like that. Alright, nice little landing there. Now it's a little too loud, I think, the beach, stand by. Depending on your mental state, all right? You'll get it. Okay, I like this one. This is a nice little glider. Let's put a little character in it so we'll get the internal view, okay? So the way I'm gonna do that is we're gonna fast travel to the workshop and the way we do that, uh, let's put this one in the, in the trunk of the car. You go to the door of the car, fast travel, let's go to the workshop. Can have dog fights? Yeah, I can put little. Uh, I'll show you. You can, you can put paintball guns in it. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go here. Let's get uh, the stock design. Let's get this one that I was just doing. The uh, let's try to put a paintball on it. This is I'm in. This is sandbox mode here. It's not campaign mode. Campaign mode is exciting though because you start with a set amount of money. And to unlock other parts for your vehicle, including like the little paintball guns, you have to, you know, complete missions, work on the campaign. Thank you for, I think, a host, whoever hosted there. Thropwell, and, and it's, it has character, you know, the copywriting is funny. It's obviously by someone who has a sense of humor and uh, who's passionate about airplanes and model airplanes. Where did it go? There it is, Wind Rider Ultra Light. Okay. That signal loss stays there, I don't know why. Make that little bug, but... Okay, so let's say... I'm gonna put an action figure in there. Let's put a major mouth... Let's put a little gear guy. Alright, there he is. Let's try to put a couple of paintball guns. I think it'll be too heavy for it to take off, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> I think it's gonna be too heavy, but let's see. Let's see what happens, okay? If I go down here, I click on this icon and I click on center of mass. You see the center of mass right on the pilot, that's good. Uh, if I put center of thrust, you can see where the center of thrust is right through the engine there. Put an aero stability. This big thing appears. And people who are aeronautics engineers will be, tell you, be able to tell you much more about this, but generally, if, as long as it looks like the top of a heart here, this blue thing, it would be okay. Very stable, 0 0.1 angle attack, almost right on the zero. Indicated X, at indicated airspeed of 55 kilometers per hour, okay, you can click here um, and change that, but let's go fly it. Yeah, it's by Harvester Filippi Falonghi, the guy who made Kerbal Space Program. So you know that this, you know, is good. <laughs> it's gonna be good, okay? It's it's already good, but it's gonna be great, I believe, all right? It's gonna be amazing, all right? I think, I hope. I've never seen this game before, looks interesting. Four, my black cliff with a calm moving, four, four of them. Oh, you want four? I don't. Let's try to take off with two and let's see if it manages even to take off. Because these things add weight, okay? Um... I don't know if someone knows how to get a tooltip to tell me outside of the workshop the weight of stuff, I would be interested in knowing that. I kind of remember a paper airplane sim existing, this seems much deeper. Uh, of course I know Kerbal, cool. I never actually played Kerbal Space Program, but I watched a lot of people play it. A lot of my friends love it, I watched them play it. I always, for some reason, didn't jump in. But I'm a bigger fan of uh, airplanes that fly in atmospheres than spaceships. So this is more up my alley, okay? Let's see if we can take off with it. Oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, no problem. Yeah. Oh, but look at the look at the look at the look at the kickback of these guns. 
All right. Not a very stable gun floor form, but... Okay, since we changed, uh, since we put the little character, now we have the first person view. Look how awesome this is. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard right now. You can set up controller, you can set up a stick. It supports any type of control you want. It has track IR support. It has VR support, not currently. It, it's not uh, activated right now, but... Uh, but... It does, it does have VR support coming. This one in the middle, I think that's probably, that's probably better. Like, uh, I wonder if it'll shoot off the propeller or if it'll automatically be like, uh, have that mechanism that makes it not shoot the propeller. I think I won't go and close the center line. Yeah, let's try it. Let's come in for a landing. If I can land her from this angle, I don't think I'll be able to. But, well, let's, let's line her up. Yeah, it fires both of the no. It, fire, it fires each click fires both at the same time and uh, and for not uh, in conjunction. Maybe there's something we can do to make it fire both at the same time. Oh, <laughs> we lost the propeller. Okay, that's usually how my landings are in Iron Two Sturmovik. All right, let's t let's go back into the uh, the workshop. Let me change the music. It's a little too slow. This. Oh yeah, you can do whatever you want. I mean, look, you can go on the wing. You can do anything you want here, pretty much, within the limitations. There, and make it like that. Okay, you want to see something cool? Here, let me undo that. Let's try to put it. Let's put. Let's try to put one gun only. And there's this. Uh, where was that alternate movement? Uh, delete gun pod. Realign gun pod. But two. Let's. Here you go. One down the center line. Let's try that. I go to uh, this uh, thing here, offset. Almost right in the center line. There, maybe. It's, it's a little hard to... I, I got trouble. It doesn't really snap. Okay, so we have a big gun on our head. And let's also put a... Uh, put eight guns. We'll, we'll try it. Stand by. Might push it a bat if it's high. I'm a. I make a sick plane. <laughs> oh yeah, man. You can. You can make like. You can change the. the you can right click. Okay, let me undo that. Stand by. You can right click and get this little menu, and then you can go. You know, span, chord, thickness, horizontal, taper, vertical, and there's many different types of wings. It's not just one. Uh, you have different types of control surfaces. Okay, you can put flaps. You have to put flaps on it. So that, uh, you know, you're, uh, you, when you move, when you wazzed here, look, you can see it move. And you can see the, the stuff here. This is, what is it called? The, uh, the aero stability bar over there. When you move, it shows you what it does. So right now I have a elevator pitched up. You can see the, the changing of the angle of attack. And you can see what happens with the fly envelope there. Okay, with that big gun on top is going to change things, but look at this. Okay, this is really cool. If you can do it. Dox E12 rocket motor, a small and mostly reliable solid rocket motor. Fire comes out one end, and ideally your craft goes flying in an equal and opposite direction. Okay. Uh, put it here. Oops. We could we could have a should we do a, a let's tr let's try to do something crazy here. Let's put it let's put it like uh, 
right next to the guy and let's try to do a a, 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 a harrier that takes off with this thing. Did you ever fly balsa wood planes in your life? I, I never flew them, but I made um I made gliders. Not radio controlled. I would have loved uh, maybe this will, will will inspire me to do that one day. But I'm I'm just not very uh I'm better at with computers than making things uh I mean I, I like drawing but making like physical and I like sculpture but making physical objects that take a lot of uh you know finesse and, and accuracy I'm not so good at. And model airplanes um you do have to have uh, quite a bit of uh accuracy. Alright, let's try to align that a little better and then we'll try this little rocket, okay. That looks okay. Bye. Guess who you Taddy man, are you joining my game? Where are you? Cool, I'll see your name up here, whoever. Or is Fabio joining in? Oh man. <laughs> Fabio and I are gonna... Dude, I'm so happy Fabio is uh, the flying Fabio is, is is playing this game because that's gonna bring that's gonna show the wonderfulness of this video game to so many more people. I hope that. Okay, that's a little bit off the center line there. The gun, okay. Oh. Oops. Retrieve vehicle. Did I break it already? I think I broke the part off already. Oh dear. Stand by. I don't know what happened there, but let's put it on. Let's put the uh, rocket in again. I forgot to save it too, of course. <laughs> oh, it's not letting me select the rocket now. Oh, it's fine. There it is. 200 the second pin, not that bad. Your development mode? Yeah, the, the development mode is, uh, that's all there is now. Because this is a play test. The game is not released yet. So, uh, yesterday I had some issues on the on the multiplayer session that I opened up for people. It was, uh, I don't know if it was a hacker or if it was just like a, a bug, but like there was a bunch of explosions starting appearing everywhere. Oh, that's back to front. Okay, let's, uh... Go to you click and then you, let's let's rotate. Right there. I'm gonna save. Fly. Let's try again. Probably way better than my landings minor overshoot. Oh man, my landings are are terrible. So. But let's throw her, okay? Um, well, let, let's try to take her, take off of her. Let's see. Let me, let me just, uh, let me just. Uh, if you press tab, then you can click on this, close this log file down here. All right, I'll oh, go. Oh no, that gun. Okay, let's try to throw her. Repair. Let's try to throw the the airplane. Right click, turn on engines. Okay, no, that's uh, I don't know if it was something I did of the wing or or because of that um, of that rocket in the back or the gun in the front. Let's move the gun back a little bit. Oh no, we don't want to shoot ourselves. Let's remove the gun right now, real quick. And let's see if it is the rocket that's causing the problem, okay? There's no data received from host for 20 seconds. That's too bad. Uh, yeah, yesterday it worked. Some people came in. I don't know what's, uh, what's going on now. Yeah. No, I don't know if it's the gun. Oh. I don't know if it's the gun or if it's um, the rocket. Let's try to remove the rocket. Let's do this. Let's let's start from scratch because I think I did something of the wing too. I put the guy there. Um, stock designs. Windrider ultralight. Okay. 
The rocket is a little heavy, I think. I mean, so we try to put on the wings. I mean, the wings, the rocket will be all over the place. Okay, I'm, I'm looking at this indicated airspeed uh, the, on the angle of attack on the, what's that thing called again? The aerostability scale there. Okay. It's all right. Let's put the rocket in the back. Maybe, maybe put it, uh... Well, two. No, no. Right, I'll put it there and then I'll rotate it. We're gonna move it down too because it has to align with the center of gravity. Otherwise, uh, like the I learned yesterday from a very kind. Uh, who was it? Was it a four architect that showed me how to do that? If you don't align the rocket of the center of gravity, you're gonna have uh, big problems. Plane, well, the plane is just gonna smash. Let's do it like that. Move it a little forward, maybe. There. All right, I'll save it. Why? It's just the rocket. All right, yeah. Sorry you couldn't join, man. I don't know what's going on. Maybe something on my end, maybe something on your end. But um, next time, the rocket's pushing the weight back means the wings need to come back. Okay, interesting. Okay, I could try that. But let's try to let's try to throw her one more time and uh, to throw this airplane. And yeah, you're right. I think. Free vehicle didn't even break. All right, let's try to move the wings back. Let's just see what happens. Uh, offset. The pilot's gonna be way out front, but. Maybe there. Look at AOA to see. All right, I just wanna. I'm just. I just wanna do some trial and error, like on the fly here. There you go. Oh, you're right. Just move the wings back. Make it zero if you can, and it's more stable. All right. Look at this weird contraption. Okay, you ready for the rocket? Fire the rocket. You press, I think, uh, three. Okay, ready? No, uh, three is smoke. Smoke maker. If you have one installed, is one. Ready? Awesome. Dingo, use six seconds. This particular one is the only one I think you have right now. This is look at this is feeling pretty good. What a odd, odd contraption of a plane. Now let's try putting the guns on it. Try to come in for the landing more smoothly. Lovely. And the amazing thing with this, okay, is that you can look at a plane that you like in real life, and you can come and try to build it or build a rig or something similar to it. Oh, big bounce there. Too fast. Oh, but didn't break. That's amazing. All right, let's try to put the let's try to put a gun in the center line there as we were trying before. We just need rockets to win the race. Hey, let's try it. Let, let's do, let, let me try the gun. That's 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 a that's a good point. Physics plus one hundred. We just needed to build it upside down, looks like. Did you ever... Okay, uh, I made the... Kojo, I, I forget the message up there. Kojo said I made the most basic ones back when I was a kid. Nothing like RC though. Same here. I, I, I just made pure glider. I made a... This is beautiful one I made of my dad. The wing uh, was a long wing like this. And we made every single strut. And we put like... Uh, uh, I don't know how you say it in English. Papel de seda. Uh, Basically silk paper, a very light paper, and you put this glue that kind of, this turpentine, that kind of stretched it. But the wing was just a beautiful object in itself, and then you put on the glider, and the edges of the wing, they, they tapered up, I remember, and it flew so far, that thing. If, if you wanted to make it look better, you could use staffed wings that don't go straight. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not so worried about looking the looks right now, I'm just, uh, I'm just experimenting. Eventually, I'll I'll get one that uh, I'm quite happy with the look of my art wing, my the first airplane I built that flies in this uh, in this particular playtest. 
I first played this game like a year ago in the initial playtest, and I already fell in love with it back then. Okay, let's put those big, uh, a big cannon. Just one. And down the center line here. Put it there. Dave, let's see if that takes off. Cooking copy, Shipa. Thanks for hanging out. And afterwards, Walkers, we're gonna go back to Campino try to uh, to just fire a rocket. I totally forgot I had a rocket in my plan. I'm gonna do a career if I think it's cause you're not in the UK or something. Yeah, I wonder why, what's going on. Sorry you can't join Toddy Man, but uh, yeah, try out the career, dude. It's it's a lot of fun. All right, actions. Um, let's refuel and recharge. Let's start the engines. Go. Oh, still flying. Okay, now we have the the gun. There you go. Wow, now you have a good little a little fighter here. Okay, let's see the rocket fire from uh, this view. Ready? <laughs> oh man, that is so awesome. <laughs> I hope that they have bombs. I hope they have like a little paint, like a like a like a balloons full of paint or something. That'll be fun, huh? Oh. All right. All right. Let's try to. Let's go back. I was half expecting the prop to Sudoku. <laughs> like a self. Is that self? The 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 Japanese like suicide whatever. No, Sudoku is the game. Is seppuku? I maybe you mean. Let's go back to the career. All right. I'll go to a tree vehicle just in case. And let's let's save this little thing as uh, something of a different name. Wind Rider UA1 mod. Hyper mod. Okay. That's that. Leave the workshop uh, escape. Let's go to the main menu. Let's go back to career. Let's try to continue that, that to win that race. Take my heart wing, which is what I have in my career. They removed the guns automatically. I think that maybe they removed the rocket as well, the wild crazy. I think that might be the problem. I think they removed the rocket. Let's see. Because I don't think they would let you use the rocket on the race. Try it again. Okay, rocket is there and guns are there when the plane is on the ground. But if I pick her up. Okay. Maybe it's fine. A rocket is there. Guns are disabled. Oh! Okay, rocket works. <laughs> hey, Captain Maroni, how's it going, man? No, I'm not in multiplayer right now. I'm uh, I'm trying to win this mission in the career. I just I just was in multiplayer a second ago. I'll start that again in a bit. <laughs> I crashed into that plane crashed into me. That's pretty savage. Get up. Go to some lo-fi. Look, the, the, the engine's still going, wow. 535 for that mess. Wow, okay. Marshall says that one doesn't count. <laughs> Must laugh so hard if I, if I watch. <laughs> awesome, do you, do, you want, do, you want, do, you want, do you want to try to fly? Do you want to try to dogfight a bit? Let's try, to, let's try it, I'll do a server.
uh, multiplayer. Post new game. But you want to join one? The tr this max player test who just joined that one. Here by Jatwa Kerman. Leaving this open until I need to restart it. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, DNR. What does that mean? That means that maybe the latency is not good. We try this Belkan Witchcraft. Found a reason to fight yet, buddy. I'll just make my own. Post new game. I'll put four players. Hypertext hero. One, two, boss. Go. Gonna get my heart wing. Do not respond, could just as well be a security thing. Uh, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what's going on. Because yesterday it worked, but yesterday it, was like, it went pandemonium at one point. Uh, it, maybe I have to forward ports in my router, which I haven't done, but... Uh, I'll go for a little flyabout with her. Wow, wait a bit in case you want to try um, Captain Mahoney. Whoa! I have smoke on this plane. I have some smoke, some smoke generators. That was a C-47 Skytrain, uh, the Goonie Bird, yep. Let's go see it. Oh! I, I wanted to fly through it, but I was out of control. There she is, the Goonie Bird there. Try to make it in the game. Bridge slalom. Like a ski thing. Oh no. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to throw her. Let's try to do a flyby of the jet, okay? <laughs> oh, left and right between the pillars? Oh man, okay, on that one there maybe? I think for that, that would be truck tricky with this airplane, it has to be a slower one. <laughs> Just press F9 twice and it's pretty cool how fast. You can, you can take off and you can, I can turn the engine from here, I press tab, start engine. Let's try to let's try a flyby with the jet through the hangar. Oh, that's that sucks. The NP is not working. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what what to do about it. it. Doesn't give me any option other than host server. We could try to join one of those other servers. I don't know if you want to try one of those. All right. Let me just go through once. I'll go through again and. Uh... Will give us plenty of space, but then I, I want to see the flyby from the view of the of the controller guy. Okay. What I like my, my flying with mouse and keyboard better than controller is that I can move the view around. Maybe with track IR of the controller, I could learn how to do it like that. But if I slow down, go to about 50%. Let's point. Try to point the right direction here. And then all of a sudden, jet. Okay. I'm coming pretty slow. I'm just trying to aim right through that hangar door there. All right, ready? I'm going to change view now. Ready? Set. <laughs> I 
I don't know if me or someone else should host one. If you want to try to host it, I'll try to join yours. Very handsome little aircraft with killed to have a model like that when I was a kid. Man, I, I agree. It's And it's so nice that you can just break it as much as... That's the cool thing about video games. You can break it as much as you want. I mean, it is such a pleasure to make. It must be so rewarding to build these in real life and see it fly. There's this book by that I keep going on about by the Tuskegee Airman Harold Brown. He wrote this book called of Keep Your Airspeed Up about his experiences being a World War II fighter pilot. And uh, before he could even fly an airplane, they made him... Uh, his his education involved uh, building. He built a, a life almost like a, a, a very large glider. They 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 pulled a, they attached it to a truck, drove the truck, and the glider flew. So they learned how to build airplanes. Those guys before they would even be allowed to fly them. But then it gives you you know the knowledge about how an airplane flies. Um, I put a little. Uh, let me let me show you something really cool here. You can right click, go back to the workshop. There's a bunch of little uh, decals you can put on this. You see this little paper airplane here? You can paint your, your aircraft, but you can put like these decals. For example, I could go like uh, put a bunch of... Uh, you can change the color. So this as well would be nice in Microsoft Flight Simulator one day as well. Alright. Alright, I've made a game. Okay, let's try it. I wanna ch I'll try to connect to yours. Um, put to main menu. Start game, multiplayer. Are you mute? Is it is it showing here or is it a refresh list? Let's... Don't see it unless did you call it Taddy Man or? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that how this works. Maybe it's something in settings. Game, general, gameplay. Oh, I love this, that it runs in background. I, I like when games have the setting for streaming. It's very helpful because I want to go to you know, OBS to chat with you all and, and, and out tab to change music and stuff like that. Then the game keeps running. More harmless targets. Always change to another target. Okay, camera effects. Floating menu effect. About that. Um, yeah, I don't know, uh, what's going on. Yeah, this, I mean, it's not, it's a, it's a, it's a play test. It's basically a beta, but, um, we'll get there. All right. Let's try to, jo just try to join. Here, here you go. T tatties, I see it. I see a tatty. Here we go. Join it. I think I'm in your game now. I see you. Okay, I see you. Hey! Alright, press enter for chat. Alright. Walking over walking over to where your vehicle is of mine. Nice to tech join, alright. Alright, well your server worked, that's awesome. Hey, nice to tech you. Let's see his plane. Oh, that looks like a MiG-15 combined with a propeller or something. A MiG-17. Was it 15? Pretty cool. I'll try to take off here too. Jet assisted takeoff. Oh. Oh dear. That's you. Cool. Nice to tech you. Yeah, nice to tech. Nice to nice to meet you too, dude. You want to try to throw it and, and go for try to do information. Do it. You have guns in your plane too. We could try a dogfight after, but I'm just gonna try to form up on you. Back 
Fast little one you have. Get assisted crash goal. <laughs> Get assisted. Boom. Oh. I'll do a flyby on our guys. Oh, there's someone else here too now. Look. <laughs> that is so awesome, dude. I can control from here and do a flyby. Engage uh, jet assisted altitude gain over. All right, let's try the dogfight. Watch out. Let's get them when they're down. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be nuts. So at the target, I press period, and now I can see it. Oh. No, it's it's tricky to control this. It it is tricky. Let me change this music real quick. And the the crazy thing is that it's not just you know, it's the way you build a plane. So it's probably good to, to get a pre-made plane that flies well, like the rot wing or something. If you learn to fly, but because if you if it's something up with the way your plane flies, that make make it harder to control. Whoa, is that a, what the heck is that thing? More rapid unscheduled disassembly. <laughs> You want to try to, to fly formation before we, we engage in combat? <laughs> it just wants to strap the people. <laughs> oh, lost the wheel. I love the I love the when things have damage modeling. You probably realize if you've been in my stream. The music's too loud, just please let me know. I am going to turn it down a little bit right now. Here, I'm going to fly straight and level here if you want to try to, try to get in and pick me out. Um. Oh, close. Let's go. The way I'm keeping you in, in sight is I target you by pressing a comma or period, okay? And after I've targeted you and you're this little, you, you, there's a yellow reticle on you, then I hold right mouse button and then it keeps you in sight. That's how, uh, that's how the, it's like a padlock view. If you've been playing flight simulators long enough, you'll have heard of padlock views. Before track IR, there was no way to got to use hat sticks. Okay. Oh, got a piece. Battery shot off. Okay, no power. <laughs> All right, my first uh, multiplayer victory uh, with a uh, nice to tech you. Nice to meet you. Nice to tech you. Y'all coming for a landing now. You know, I just I like I like P C better than P vs P. I'm sure there's going to be some amazing flyers in P vs P here, but I'm always going to be more of a P vs C a fan. Um, 
But you know, once in a while it's fun. Very low battery range for that plane, yeah. Let me check out. Can you pick up my plane? Can you see if that's possible? Try to pick up my plane. Uh, I'll stop the engine. See if you can pick her up. I wonder if you can pick up uh, planes that are not ours. That would be kind of interesting. I'll try to pick up yours. Uh, no, I can't pick up yours. The crazy things. Look like a Mega 17 propeller one. Yeah, yeah, I can't pick up yours either. And I, what this makes me think of already, this game is, uh, I would love, uh, let me switch to something a bit more chill than this. I would love to have ground vehicles as well, so we can, uh, you know, could do uh, attack missions against ground vehicles. Maybe they would add like ground vehicles too in the in the future. I don't know. The fixed en engine uh, re uh, report it. I'm gonna, I'll repair my vehicle. We'll do a takeoff on this run. If you want to try to strafe my plane while I'm taking off, I'm gonna take off here on this uh, this road. Here you go. I didn't have to say it. All right. It's tricky to aim. All right, here we go. Oh, retreat. Oh, you, you hit her, I think. All right, good job. Right click, uh, start engines, go. I love this view from the distance that you're flying here. If you like the, the the radio controller. And I could also just zoom out. Tap this and then run somewhere. You got to get to a different position. An interesting thing. Like you, you can, you're radio controlling something. So you can move the, your character as well. I've done my guns too far on the wing before. It was funny if you shoot my plane goes left, right? <laughs> Here's traffic run on nice to tech you. Watch out. That stick landing, let's try it. Oh, here you go. I have like the little machine guns in this, the little uh, paintball guns, not the not the big one. I'm gonna try to just fly formation. It's going for the guy. The killer instincts. There's this uh, personality uh, test for video gamers to see what kind, of, what kind of video games you enjoy most. If you enjoy most P for speed, then you have more like the killer instinct. You want to compete. You're like more competitive. If you enjoy more exploration, you're one type of gamer. A bunch of different uh, things. You. It's basically one of those personality tests. You, you, you. Ooh. You ask a bunch of questions. I forget the name of it. It was made by this British guy who designs RPGs. Oh, man, look at that. I lost one wheel. I'm still flying. I'll try to find a link to it. Put it on chat after. Flying deformation, it seems, yeah. See, these ramps here makes me think that it would be nice to have vehicles as well. What I miss with a mouse and keyboard is more rudder control. Oh. Let's go see that side there. Gamer personality psychopath. <laughs> yeah, there's probably the psychopath one as well. Lost the wheel. 
I just like flying in this game. It's so fun to... And there's, there's three maps, I think. Uh, maybe two maps accessible in the in the public uh, test. I don't know if the, the ice map will be out, but uh, there's other maps. I want to try the scenario editor. After this flight, I'm going to go try the scenario editor. I want to see if I can put a robot and shoot at it to blow it up on the ground. Oh, lost another wheel. Pan Mislui joined. Hello, Pan Mislui. Oh, here comes uh, someone shooting. Must be a uh, nice attack here. Yep. Whoa. I lost wheels. Uh, has a quadcopter. Oh, that's awesome. The quadcopter? Look at that. Oh, that is cool, dude. It's like a drone. That is awesome. Turn off the smoke a bit. That is awesome. Chosho's perhaps as far as I'll admit to. <laughs> Hey, a sociopath is not a is not a hermit. Uh, yeah, I think you're more of a hermit, aren't you? Walker, well, you just don't like to be like a solitary. I mean, that's what's written in your profile, I guess, solitary type. I'm a. I used to be much more uh, shy when I was a kid, and when I went to this school in Tunisia, in North Africa. The American Cooperative School of Tunis. Uh, it was such a small school that I got to know teachers really well. I got to know people there really well. And everyone was so nice that, oh, hit the wing there, still flying. That I just uh, got a lot of confidence in that school and that helped me a lot. I like small schools. Oh, what's that thing? Is that a... Ow! I was, I was watching and I, I, I didn't pay attention. Now I think he's in a rot wing, which is a BF-109. But I'm, I still, like, uh, I'm the kind of person I still, uh, I go through phases. Sometimes I want to see, ooh, log view, let's look at that. How the heck did I get that to appear? That's interesting. Big crashes, chat messages, whoa, very cool. System. Oh, it's, like, it's logging all my, uh, all my information here. All right. Maybe not what I want to share on the internet, but whatever, you know. I already... This PC, it's pretty much a gaming PC. Okay, he, yeah, he has the rot wing. Check that out. Alright. Throw. Tab, uh, turn on the engine. Okay, we've got a little dogfight going here, people. Oh! What happened? I, oh, my propeller broke off. Okay, I don't have propeller. Let's restart. Repair. Social pass for okay. Walker is the bu bush dweller. <laughs> That's a cool. What, what is that? Fort Bush. I like the little emote. I think I had seen it before and actually saved it because I like the the shading. I wanted to uh, use that in to, to use that style in the design of one of my emotes. All right, we got we got a bunch of players here going at each other. Okay, Raiders. Whoa, there's an F A14 flying by. All right, everyone is. Let's go for Raider. He's in one of those Delta wing, weird flying wing designs. Oh! Kind of like War Thunder, a little bit. The ping is a little bad, you can see like it's rubber banding a lot. Whoa, look at that thing. That looks like that... That... Oh. That American test plane that the wings were pointed the wrong way around. What was that called? The YF... No, the YF-17 was the F-18. Is the lock coming up again? Throw. Tab.
Very difficult to get this. Oh, they got me. Who was that? <laughs> Daddy, good job and applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Taddy. <laughs> All right, one more, one more, and then I'm gonna try the scenario. Look how many people there are here now. Wow. Oh, engine. Oh, okay. Now let's the the frame rate got gets quite a bit worse with the server. They probably need a dedicated server, or they need to do more work of the network code. It also depends on people's internet connection if you're self hosting. Let's go back to the menu. I am going to try. Um, I want to try the scenario editor. I want to try to put a ground target, maybe. See if we can attack it. I saw a a, a, a robot there or something. One two bots. <laughs> All right. Let's see, um, build and fly, workshop, uh, where was it, build and fly, multiplayer, scenarios, I think it's scenarios, uh, no mission, build and fly, uh, workshop, I think it must be in scenarios, right, let's try that. All right. Um, let's go. Let's go to the workshop. Where is the scenario editor? I don't. I don't remember where it is anymore. Not there. There you go. Escape scenario editor. There it is. All right. Let's uh, let's just try something very simple. Let's right here in front of the workshop. Let's try to place a target. Okay. Uh, Non-player character vehicle placement. All right. Uh, the spawns drop well. All this stuff. All right. Uh, timer, audio track, gameplay rules, racing, add stage, remove stage. Um. Add stage. Blank uh, mission stage. Let's try that. We could do teams, uh, do it together, but uh, let's just try a side mission. I like side mission. There's, I don't, a lot of options there. Basic mission stage. Accept. Play rules. Top left mission settings. Oh, you can open a .scn file for editing on a on a add prop. Here you go, that green one. Yeah, dude, you got full, huh? <laughs> Good shot. You got me. All right, let's see. I think I had seen a robot here. Boy, rocket. Try that. Oh man, look at that. Kind of like a tin tin toy rocket. Okay, let's leave that toy rocket there. What else do we have here? Put a little truck. Let's put a target. Oh, that's a big one. That's too big. I just hovered over and pressed the lead. Um, there's a robot. Coverable turns. Okay. The robot car cardboard building. <laughs> awesome. All right. I think we're gonna have some targets here. Okay. All right. There you go. Ro uh, characters robot blue. Characters robot red. Uh, let's just put a red robot here too. And all right, now 
There's this behavior thing. Recovery spawn page, um, stage on play start, triggers, uh, object name. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna put even mission, mission field recovery. I just wanna be able to fly and shoot this thing and see if they can blow up. Player, uh, allow portals, uh, leave and change, movement, launch locations. Weapons, uh, allow weapon fire, I'll leave unchain. I'll, I'll put true, allow targeting, and I'll put true. Um, so now if I click on this thing, name, uh, I'll put a target. This still brings memory of, of my childhood, same here, man. Target rocket, I'll put this. Visible on stage, uh, any. Resist of emission and... Uh, all right, this is gonna be, you know, complex, but uh, gameplay rules of your use player weapon. Let's just go in there. I'm just gonna save this. I'm gonna call it um, Hypertext Hero Test Mission, and I'm just gonna click Start and see what happens a flat out race no I don't, I don't, I don't want it to be a race so uh, tab uh, ask scenario editor um basically those can It was running too. Let's try to put a plane. Move to player position. Uh, there. What is this thing? Reload career events. Open the file for editing. Take a look at how the file looks like. Uh, more apps. Open of Notepad plus plus. A quick look. All right. There's a text file you can edit. That's what we're gonna be doing eventually. I can't use scenarios. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about scenarios. Uh, I'm, I'm totally like jumping in on the deep end here. I'm, I'm just I try. I managed to play some props, but I'm right clicking. Oh, here you go. I like. All right, let's right click on this uh, cardboard building. Visible and stage persist triggers. Um, I just I want to place an airplane and fly and and try to the paintballs at these targets and see what happens let maybe let's just try start again but it keeps saying it's a racing thing and i don't know why because i didn't just put a basic mission i didn't put a free flight default here you go allow vehicle editor uh true a left craft browser true the vehicle pickup true hand launch true vehicle recovery true vehicle engine start true your views, uh, I'll just leave that unchanged. Oh, I can put allow uh, vehicles from all to see other vehicles. All right, that's interesting. True. I'll just put three. Three. So this is going to be a pretty interesting to see the scenarios that people make. Maybe capture the flag and stuff like that. Okay, let's save it. Let's just click start and let's see if we can pick, a, pick an airplane and put it uh put it on the the sky, alright? Um where's my heart wing? There. Right fly. Here it is, alright. It took a little while. The takeoff here? Right click, start engines. I, I try not to build a helicopter, maybe it works. Yeah, from from, from what I'm reading the from reading the mission editor. The, the 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 manual, not the mission editor, but the manual, there's this little eye in the in the editor that you can read the manual. I saw that you can um you can make any type of flying vehicle, uh, a helicopter, a vertical takeoff and landing things, uh because the simulator, the flight simulator engine in the game works with sur flight surfaces. So if you look at the airplane here, this is the wing and 
you can build your own airplane, which is crazy, you know, like, so depending on where you move the flight surfaces, it will affect the flight model of the thing. But that means that since this um, responds to the laws of physics inside, in particular to this uh, simulator, all right, that if you make something that flies, if you see something that flies in the real world, and you try to recreate it in the game, it, it'll probably work. It'll probably, it'll, it'll fly. It's amazing. Yeah. Alright, let's try to shoot up those things. I want to put something flammable. I want to see if there's explosions in this game. You know, it's always nice to see if, uh, if they can blow something up. I mean, one is a cardboard, the other one is a rocket. But it's probably gonna have, it probably has to be a trigger. Maybe I have to put a trigger on those things that when hit, uh, explode or damage, I don't know. Uh, let's try to, let's try to fly into the prop and see if it actually, if there's collision modeling. Must be. But if it's something you have to turn on, I'll try to lose a landing gear. Right, I'm, I'm gonna need more space. I'll switch to flying with this for a bit. Right. Oh. Oh, it's tough. I'm, I'm, I'm fast. All right, never mind. Let's go mouse keyboard. I'm, I'm better at that. Go down. In all the flight sims I played, a big problem that I have is I, I I'm trying to do things too. I'm for landings especially. I'm coming in too fast. Yes, there is collision detection on the on the on the props. Okay. All right. Go back to a uh, scenario editor. Let's see if I can uh, add some something to this rocket, for example. Any. Target rocket properties on. Good watch. Recover. Return the vehicle. Retrieve. Repair. Okay, this this is the mission stage. Yeah, I can't see what to do with these things. So let's leave it for now. I don't want to spend. Uh, I'm not sure how to uh, set a trigger for these things. I, I'm gonna have to read a manual. If there is a manual for these. But these are props, so I don't know if we'll be able to. Uh, there will be effects currently um, apply to these things. I'm gonna go back to the career mode and keep playing the career mode. All right. Um, and I'm gonna spend some time seeing if there. I'm gonna find if there is a manual for this. Let's go back to our career. There's some new missions for us to do there. All right. It was that race. Let's try to win the race of the rocket. Appearing twice. I don't know if that's a bug, but let's try it. Get our heart wing. Do it. Wait, where is it? I thought I would spawn down there. Walk down. How many planes are back heavy? Do you know why? Um, probably you have something heavy on the back. Um, maybe move the batteries. Uh, are, are you using uh, default planes or are you using uh, something you built yourself, Taddy? Uh, are, you, are you using a default uh, something you built yourself or one of the one of the ones you found on the? Oh look, I'm, my props are still here. It's funny. Okay. Is that how is that how I broke this? One? All right. Well, I don't see the mission, so 
and mission. That is confusing. Why are my props here in the uh, in the career? Something you're building. Yeah, keep on that. Turn on. Click on the bottom of the screen in the editor, the little gray icon, and turn on um, the non center of gravity, and then you'll see where the center of gravity of your plane is. It's this, this yellow little thing here. I'll show you real quick. Right, see that little th this thing here you turn on center of mass and then that that little uh, diamond thing appears there you want that as close to the center of your airplane as possible or by where the pilot sits at least you're probably having something maybe that's too long or something I don't know yeah oh now I'm back here okay I don't know if that's a bug uh... Let's end mission. Let's go to the main menu. Leave. And I'm 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 not I'm, not, I'm a little worried about those those things appearing in uh, the scenario appearing in uh, props appearing in my campaign. I don't know what's going on there, but I guess it's not a big deal. You want that near the center of lift? Shupa is saying. There you go. Shupa knows more about this stuff than I do. Okay, I'm not no aeronautical engineer. Like what was saying the the game was telling you that? Ready. But it's not taking me to the mission, so I think that's bugged out. That guy wants to talk to me, so let's just uh, end mission here. the game bugged out i'm gonna restart it i was having problems with this uh sometimes yesterday like um i guess that's why they're doing a play test to catch this stuff the closer the wings are to the center of lift the more maneuverable the vehicle is she uh she was saying Take a break for lunch soon, but uh, we'll keep going a little while longer. My heli is not working. <laughs> heli sounds tricky. I mean, how the heck? Uh... Wait, there's an engine, and you can put like a propeller, and we have to be able to attach like control surfaces, flight surfaces, the propeller. Chipa says, uh, not the wings, the wings need to make the center of lift go as close to the center of mass as possible. The wings can be anywhere as long as this happens. Okay. So it doesn't matter if the wing is near the center of mass, it matters the, the lift the wings generates is close to the center of mass. Okay. Gotta continue the career and let's see if it works. Alright, props are not there anymore, so maybe that's a good sign. And after lunch, I'm gonna have to work on uh, getting my... Fixing the other hard disk. Man. Don't play carrier, it's too buggy. Carrier? What do you mean by carrier? Alright, this seems buggy because uh, my airplane's going out and uh, the race is not starting. I think it's buggy. Alright.
Try this guy. Yeah, it's still buggy. No, I like the VR figures. I like that uh, that they look, their, their heads match where they're looking. I like them. They're a little weird, but they look like Minecraft characters, you know? Um. Oh, now these things appeared again. Okay. Anyway, it's time that I'm just on my best. No worries, career. Oh, copy that. No worries. But look, I'm gonna take a... I'm gonna take a... Um, a lunch break here. I'll be back later, but I'm gonna... It might, it might be late, be later, 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 because... Um, I want to try to fix my other hard disk so I can play Microsoft Flight Simulator again. Thanks so much for dropping by. And uh, good shot, Taddy Man. Captain Mahoney, thanks for hanging out. Sheepa, always. Thank you so much. And to Wild Craze and Iceberg and everyone who passed by here, all right? Captainton. Um, and uh, Kojo62 as well. I, will, I hope you have a wonderful week. Let's go uh, see if I'm, I don't think anyone else is streaming this. Fine Fabio did a played it a bit. I'll be back to Microsoft Flight Simulator or, or or the stream finished already. I was gonna go and raid him, but uh, anyone else streaming this now? I think it's just us. Wow. All right. Let's check uh, aisle two. Anytime, copy. Thanks, Wild Craze, and I'll. Uh, if you put that, can I make a suggestion that 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 library you have, if you wanna, if you put it in the same place all the time, so that I know where to go to download the latest when you're working on it. But if not, if you don't want to, that's fine. I'll just I'll make sure I install it from the, if you put the link on Discord, I'll make sure I install it before. Hopefully, when hopefully it'll be easy to get Microsoft Flight Simulator running again. Uh, no one playing Battle of Stalingrad. How about Great Battles? We might instead of instead of Bowser and instead of um, I instead of Microsoft Flight Simulator this afternoon we might do IL2 because that that's in the same hard disk that is that is working the Bowser one. So maybe we're gonna do that. All right. First attempt on flight was a fail. Nose dive, so I need to move the battery back. Yeah, my first attempts also were big failures. All right. <laughs> okay. It's normal. That's how you learn. You know, people think that failing is bad. Failing is really good. That's how you learn. This the old story. Look up the story called uh, the 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 clay. There's this book called uh, Art and Fear, and it's a, there's a story there about uh, making pots, and basically the people that had to do one perfect one didn't do a good one. The one that had to do as many as possible, they made the perfect one because they failed a lot. All right. There's a cat flying. Should we, is this a cat? Oh, but it's German. Oh, Kondo's out there. Let's go say hi to you, Kondo. Great, here we go. Is I2 free? It's not. DCS is free. War Thunder is free. Some planes and DCS is free. You can try any for free, all right? Um, all right, peace out, everyone. Rating now. I was hoping I would nose uh, dive and then it wasn't glitch. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much, Kojo. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. I mean, this is gonna be a, uh, as long as this playtest is going on. It's gonna be a regular here on the stream. And um, uh, yeah, go give Wild Chris a, a follow as well. All right. All right, rating now. Peace out, everyone. See you later.